Hello, this video is about using trapeziums to find the area under a complicated shape on a graph like this curve. So in my example here, I've got something where we're mapping an object's speed over time, and we might be interested to know how far has it traveled in this one, two, three, four, I think that's 10, 10 seconds. So how far has it traveled? Well, that's the area under the graph, and how are you gonna find that? Well, you can do this thing with trapeziums pretty straightforward. The first thing is, is to take your area, now apologies, I'm not gonna do perfect lines um, because it's all freehand as you can see. You're gonna take this area and split it up into equal parts. So let's say every two seconds, we're gonna throw a vertical line up here. Actually, that's going quite well for me. Okay, so we split it into, now you've got to imagine these are all equal widths, as I say, freehand. You put these vertical lines up and then next, if you join straight lines between these points, you're gonna get a series of little trapeziums. Um, now you can see that my trapezium here is above the line. That means I'm going to overestimate the area here, but here I'm underestimating. So usually these things tend to even out and it's, it is only an estimate after all. Now we've got these trapeziums. Now let's think about the area of each trapezium. Well, it has a formula, doesn't it? A plus B over two times height. Now that's in a trapezium of you know, normally A and B are the parallel sides and the height is the vertical perpendicular height. So it's the same kind of idea. Let me just rub that out with my filthy bit of kitchen paper. Um, same idea here. You've got to take this width here. There's two each time. Two, 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 two. You've got to take that width as your height. And for each one, take the verticals as your A and B. So let's just do the first one and then you'll get the idea. So this is four and six. 4 plus 6 divided by 2 times 2, so that's 10. So the area of that one is 10. And you could carry on working out all five of these trapeziums. You'll get five areas, you add them together, that's it, done. You've got an estimate, only an estimate, for the area under the curve. In this case, the distance traveled by this object. So hope that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching. Give that a try um, and hope you find it useful. Bye.